Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD, diagnosis rates have reached unprecedented levels, with more children getting diagnosed every year. Nearly 10% of all school-age children in the U.S. live under this label's restrictions. Do you have a bright, creative kid who struggles to focus or sit still? Maybe they fidget constantly or have frequent emotional meltdowns. As a parent, your heart breaks when you see them struggling in school or have a hard time making friends. You've likely tried various behavioral programs, elimination diets, supplements, and maybe even stimulant medications, hoping something works. But if lasting relief remains elusive, an overlooked root cause might be to blame, an impaired vagus nerve. Most parents of kids who struggle with ADHD, especially if it's on the hyperactive or impulsive side, live in fight or flight themselves, worried about how their kids will interact in situations where they need to sit still, be calm, take a test, or even focus. I still remember Mabel, a seven-year-old that was diagnosed with ADHD. Um, her mom found pediatric chiropractic. She was trying to avoid medications but received so many emails daily about her behavior from school that she felt it was just a matter of time before she ran out of options. In Mabel's first consult, she couldn't sit still and in fact at one point climbed onto the table in the office and jumped off. It was an impressive jump to be honest and hard for me not to smile and laugh, but mom was horrified and so apologetic. The truth was Mabel wasn't trying to misbehave, she was just doing what her brain felt was comfortable to it. Jumping, moving, and giving stimulation. After assuring mom that we understand and that we are all parents who get the struggle, a weight lifted off her shoulders. Let's talk about the vagus nerve's connection to ADHD. Mamel's mom had heard of the vagus nerve before, and it's associated with the brain-gut connection, but initially wrote it off as Mabel no longer struggled with constipation, she experienced as a toddler. And while the vagus nerve does influence the gut substantially, its unique and widespread pathway influences so much more than just the gut. Over 75% of all the nerve fibers carrying sensory signals for organ function travel along vagal pathways. This makes the vagus nerve disproportionately influential in coordinating multiple body processes critical for health and overall well-being. When it's not functioning properly, symptoms like insomnia, headache, fatigue, anxiety, gut issues, and poor focus occur. The vagus nerve is the critical messenger carrying signals between the brain and organs that regulate heart rate, breathing, digestion, inflammation levels, sensory processing, and the entire parasympathetic relaxation system. When this vagal superhighway develops dysfunction from early trauma, chronic stress, or poor nervous system communication, children display all the hallmarks of ADHD. Research now clearly ties vagus impairment to attention focus challenges, hyperactivity, sleep and digestive disorders, emotional dysregulation, and so much more. If you have exhausted typical treatment options without results or want to avoid medication, side effects altogether, specialized testing and natural support and stimulation for the vagus nerve provide new hope for families who want to put drugs and medication as a last resort. Let's go into some of the science behind um, vagus nerve dysfunction. So this is where I want to get a little bit nerdy and dig into the science behind the vagus nerve. I promise I'll make it applicable, but it's just fascinating when you map out developmentally how many connections there are. The intricate neuromuscular tissues and pathways surrounding the vagus nerve are extremely sensitive to both physical tension and inflammation. Physical trauma during birth, infections like pandas or COVID-19, poor diet and toxin exposure all cause what we call subluxation along vagus nerve pathways, leading to impaired signaling capacity and overall neurological imbalance. Let's connect birth trauma. 
Common birth interventions including vacuum and forceps extractions and C-sections place enormous physical strain on the vagus nerve and surrounding tissues. Spinal tension, misalignments, and subluxation frequently occur in this delicate brainstem and upper neck region, interfering with communication between the brain, the vagus nerve, and the rest of the body. Development and growth stress, there is a connection between all of this as well. This leads to alterations in gross motor development, sensory modulation, and overall development, and can also fuel chronic gut issues, food sensitivities, sickness, and heightened inflammation, all disturbing vagal tone further as these conditions persist and become repetitive. As children grow, regular childhood injuries, post poor posture from devices and dental or cranial restrictions can also place stress on the vagus nerve. Medications like antibiotics can also alter and inhibit key nerve signaling capacity over time by disrupting the microbiome and gut-brain connection. Let's look at long-term stress and suppression of the vagus nerve. Gradually, the rest and digest system stays suppressed and underactive, that parasympathetic side. Symptoms like headache, anxiety, poor stamina, intestinal discomfort, sleeplessness, and heart palpitations increase. Attention span, impulse control, and emotional regulation falter, which is the hallmark of the struggles with ADHD. How can we help this vagus nerve dysfunction? Much like Mabel, we tailor protocols unique to each individual's needs and work to stimulate and strengthen your child's vagus nerve, restoring nervous system balance gently. We know it's hard for most kids to sit still for an assessment, behave for a long time in an office, and not want to jump off the table during an adjustment. That's okay. Our office is pediatric focused and all our systems are set up to make these steps easy for them. The steps to find the root cause of ADHD via the vagus nerve are super simple. The first step involves gathering a detailed and personalized case history for each child. We then determine the current function of the vagus nerve and autonomic nervous system via the insight scans, which enable the direct measurement of a child's subluxation patterns and dysautonomia. This step is considered essential because it allows the identification and tracking of the foundational root causes. Here is an example of what we found in Mabel's scans that clearly show why it's so hard for her to sit still, focused, and engaged. While at rest, Mabel's scans had an excess of neuromuscular energy in her nervous system, that's all the red bars in the scan, this is extra energy that the brain is picking up from the body. It's telling her cerebellum and her central nervous processing system that she should move fast and keep busy brain as the movement and attention span, or lack thereof, matches the input the brain is receiving. We took this scan along with two others that um, plus Mabel's clinical history and created a customized care plan that mapped out how long it would take and how frequently we should start with adjustments. We also did some brain-based tests that give us an idea of where her brain is at in development. And if there's any gaps in that development because her brain couldn't get through the the stress to develop the proper way. And then we use some tools after a amount of adjustments to help her brain fill those gaps. Then we utilize precise neurological focused adjustments to address subluxation, release stuck fight or flight tension, activate the nervous system and the vagus nerve, and improve communication between the brain and the rest of the body. The first response that most children like Mabel have to the specialized form of chiropractic adjustments is better sleep, more calm, and improved sensory regulation. Mabel's mom immediately saw an immediate impact on sleep. She went from not being able to go to sleep before 9 p.m. to falling asleep when mom was reading her a bedtime story, and instead of waking up at 6 a.m., mom was having to wake her up to get ready for school. Mabel's story turned into fewer emails from school, and now six months later, teachers are in awe at the changes and are curious how Mabel calmed without medication. It's so cool. If you're ready to address the root cause of your child's neurological challenges, head on. We would love to help. Safer, more natural options exist that address vagus nerve dysfunction and improve neurological communication and overall function. Hit us up in the DMs or leave a comment and we'd be happy to help.